briefly talk about logarithmic functions. Um, I'm going to start with exponential functions in a very basic form. Now, logarithmic functions are the inverses of exponential functions. So if you recall, when you study inverses, to find an inverse of, of a function, you switch your x and you switch your y variable, and then you solve for y. So I would have to isolate y. Well, how do I get y down from an exponent? This is when we use logarithmic functions y is equal to law uh, um, uh, log base a of x. So if I want to convert, so first of all, I start with an exponential function. And to find its inverse, I switch my x and my y coordinate, or my x and my y variable, because that's what we do when we find inverses. And then to isolate y, which is an exponent, we use logarithmic functions. So um, to bring that exponent down, this is my exponent, see? We create a, what we call a logarithmic function. That's why they're very important, because if I'm ever trying to solve for an exponent, I need to use logs. The base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential function, in this case, a. This is a subscript here. And y is the exponent, technically, right, if I go back into exponential form. Um, so what you need to know how to do is to go back and forth, convert between exponential form and logarithmic form. So this is very important, exponential form, and sometimes you'll just see log. Log is the same thing as saying logarithm, logarithmic form, and things like that. So I'm just log for short. So let me start with, um, with this. Let's say I have two to the third is equal to eight, right? This is an exponential, you know, technically an equation, and this is true. 2 to the third power is 8. And if I want to create the logarithmic form of this, I want to convert this to log form. Um, I'm going to say log of base. Now, the base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential, and the base of the exponential is 2. So the base of the logarithmic function, which is a subscript, is also 2. Um, or the logarithm is always equal to an exponent. So the exponent of this exponential function is 3. So that's going to go to the right of this equation, right? A log is always equal to an exponent if I were to convert it back into exponential form. And then 8 is left to go here. So we say log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And if I were to go back into exponential form, it would go back to the same thing that I say here. Um, if I start in, let's make log base 3 of let's say 9 is equal to 2. If I start with logarithmic form and I want to go in exponential form, there are two ways you can do this. First of all, we know that the base of the log is 3, so the base of the exponential is also going to be 3. We know that in a log is always equal to an exponent, so if I go back into exponential form, the exponent is 2, and then that is equal to 9, and that's a true statement. 3 squared is 9. Sometimes what people do is they go, they do this around the world thing. You start here, this is the base of the exponential. You raise it to this exponent and you set it equal to this. So if I were to do this around the world thing to convert this back into exponential form, I would say 3 raised to the 2 is equal to 9. That's to convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. So uh, log, let's say base 5, uh, let me do 1 over 25 is equal to negative 2. If I want to convert this back into exponential form, two ways, right? I could say, well, the base of the log is 5, right? Go around the world, raise it to this exponent, and set it equal to this. So, again, this is just one around the world counterclockwise. So, the base is 5, raise it to the negative 2, and then equal to 1 over 25. And if you notice, the base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential, and the exponent is the same thing that the logarithmic function is equal to. It's equal to an exponent, and then this satisfies. This is the same thing. 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 25. Um, let me do another one. Uh, 6 to the, we'll do negative 2, is equal to 1 over 36. And I want to convert this exponential form into logarithmic form. The log form, well, the base of the log matches the base of the exponential, which is 6. And the right-hand side, after the equal, is always equal to the exponent. And then here, this 1 over 36 goes here. So if I were to go around the world here, 6 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 36, it would match the exponential form of this logarithmic function.
Now we need to talk about these special bases, right? We had special bases um, when we dealt when we talked about uh, exponential functions. We have special bases when we talk of logarithmic functions. The common base and base e. Um, so we have actually let me use proper terminology, and then I'll. So we have the common log, which is base ten, and we have the natural log which is base e. And we talked about base e when we talked about exponential functions. So the common log, right? If I have a log of base 10, let's just say, you know, like this. You're going to see it written as logx without a base represented. Anytime you see a logarithmic function that doesn't have a base represented, it's automatically base 10. Now the natural log, um, a log of base e, we don't write it this way. You're going to see it as ln of x. So anytime you see ln of x, it's a logarithmic function. It follows the same properties, the same you know, rules. But it's a special log called the natural log, and it's special base, base e. Automatically, if I see this, it's an automatic log base e, automatically. Okay. So if I go back and forth, let me add it here, between exponential and logarithmic form, let's say ln of x um, is equal to 4. This is the same property of the logarithms, but the base is e. So around the world counterclockwise, right? Let me write it in yellow again. The base raised to this exponent is e equal to this. If I write it in exponential form, the base is e raised to the fourth is equal to x. 10 squared is 100. I write it in log form. The base of the log is 10. I don't have to write the base 10. The exponent is 2, 100. Log of 100 is equal to 2. I don't have to write the base. If the base is not here, it's automatically base 10. 